let me tell you something. I, you know, I'm 50. I have to tell you, the years go by like, do they not? Do they fly by? They completely fly by. I have to tell. And the only difference, I swear to God, between being in your 20s or being in your 40s and 50s is the way you introduce your friends to each other. Because I remember in my 20s, I used to introduce my friends and be like, oh, you have to meet my friend Bill. He's amazing. He just ran the marathon. He's really into jazz. He just passed the bar. He has a wine cellar. Now I'm 50. This is how I introduce my friends to each other. Okay, so. Tonight, you're going to meet my friend Sandy. She is amazing, but <laughs> they just found a tumor behind her right eye. It's nothing. It is completely benign. They're taking it out next week. Look at the left eye, because the right eye is like going all over the place. She might slur her speech or fall down, but she's like an amazing poet, and she volunteers at God's Love We Deliver. I'm telling you, she's like an amazing person. I swear to God, you hit 40, and all people discuss are their medical ailments, and everyone has a tumor. I swear to God. Every week I get these phone calls, they found something, and it's always the size of a fruit. Have you noticed that? They found it's the size of a grape, it's the size of a lemon, it's the size of Richard Simmons. Let me tell you something. In our generation, I think tumors should come in tall, grande, and vente. So, all right, I gotta get out of here. I left my 11-year-old home fucking alone. He just called before and said he was locked out. How great am I as a parent? Anyway. But I gotta say, it's very odd being the gay parent. And you know, my kids, you know, my, it's Henry's 16. I, when I had kids, it was very, it wasn't co as common as it is now, and we're in New York, but I have to tell you, I remember when they were very young, we were at the park, and this woman asked me if I was planning on raising my sons as homosexuals. And I was like, absolutely, come on. <laughs> I mean, they're, you know, they're, they're um, fucking shit. <laughs> I don't even think. <laughs> Their G.I. Joe just got kicked out of the military, so they're playing with Barbies. And we don't have any bedrooms in our apartment. They're going to be sleeping in the closet for the first 18 years of their lives. So, <laughs> But here's my favorite thing about being the gay mom. So I go to a lot of PTA things, and yeah. And I'll go to these things, and I swear to God, any, every time I'm at some school function, I would say it happens about two or three times a year, one of the mothers will come up to me and be like, Judy, um, can I talk to you for a minute? I'm like, yeah, what's up? Oh, God. Um, I'm a lesbian. What? No, I'm totally a lesbian. I'm telling you, I'm totally a I can't stand my husband. He completely grosses me out. I don't want to have anything to do with him. He's so disgusting. And I love my girlfriends. Like, I'd much rather be with my girlfriends than be with my husband. I am totally a lesbian. I just don't want to do that. <laughs> like, all right, then you're not a lesbian, okay? Because, you see, there's this oral exam, and you have to pass it over and over and over again, okay?